Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. We thank you for this wonderful opportunity to come together, meditate on God's Word and pray together. This week we've been talking about stewardship and today we'll discuss on the gift of hope. Titus chapter 2 and verse 13. We wait for the blessed hope, glorious appearing of our great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Martin Luther King Jr. has this very famous quote where he says, we must accept disappointment but never lose infinite hope. When we look back to the reality of Jesus' birth, God's great gift of salvation, we also look ahead for His second coming. In this short letter of Titus, a pastor in the island of Crete the Apostle Paul emphasizes how we as believers must live between Christ's first and second coming. The Apostle Paul reminds us of the great gift we have been given through Christ's coming, namely the gift of hope. Because of this precious gift, we are able to press on as God's people, eager to do what is good. In spite of all the obstacles, difficulties and challenges that we face in our day-to-day -day lives, you and I can hold on to the hope that we have in Christ Jesus. Jeremiah 29.11 is a powerful verse. It says, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you a hope and a future. The prophet Jeremiah had the most difficult message to deliver, even in the most severe judgment. God promises hope and restoration. Hope is not something that we muster from within ourselves. God promises that hope is a gift deposited into us by the Holy Spirit. Jeremiah, God was revealing his plan to give us this hope forever. Let's look at the example of Abraham. Abraham had no idea about God's plan. He couldn't even imagine it and hadn't even seen what God had prepared for him. But his hope was steady. It was placed firmly in God's promise of an inheritance. Hope in the New Testament means looking to the future with assurance. Because we know Jesus, you and I have hope. May our lives bring praise and glory to our Lord and Saviour, whose coming we eagerly anticipate. Let's pray. Father, we want to thank you for this beautiful gift of hope that you have deposited into each one of us, Lord. And we thank you for the seasons that you take us through. Through the good times, through the challenges, Lord, you are God. Lord, we pray that you will fill us with your hope, hope that does not disappoint. Lord, that we will assure ourselves that you are there with us, Lord. And Lord, that you will never leave us nor forsake us. For the plans you have for us are good, and Lord, we give you all the praise and glory. May our lives be a sweet aroma in your presence, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.